Fresh from a thrilling 2-1 win over Scotland, Australia resumes its international bowl schedule, taking on Wales. Hi, I'm Steve Rebilliard for ABC Sport. Welcome to the Tweed Heads Club. Once again in this format, it's three matches that decide the event. It's pairs, singles and triples. And as usual, we'll start off with pairs. These are the players we're looking forward to seeing. And representing Australia, we have Kelvin Kirko making a welcome return to national duties alongside Rex Johnson. And from Wales, Malcolm Bishop and William Thomas. Well, one man I'm sure who is delighted to see uh, Kelvin Kirko back in the green and gold is his former pairs partner Ian Schubach and Ian Spike will be looking to make the most of this chance. Yes, Steve. Uh, currently Australia's number one ranked player. He's very keen now. Steve Glasson's held that spot for many years. Kelvin would like to now perform well and stay in this Australian team. The Welsh will be well over any jet lag, but uh, what about their form on this carpet? Very difficult, I think, for them to play really well against Australia. As you mentioned, we've seen a great match against Scotland. Wales have had two months on their outdoor greens. They've only had two days on the carpet. It's going to be almost impossible. Well, let's have a look at the conditions of play. And we play two bowl pairs in this format over 21 ends. 30 second shot clock will be running. 40 seconds allowed for the changeovers. No time limit on the last bowl. There'll be no dead ends. The jack will be respotted on the rink if it's sent out of bounds. Oh, you do, all right? Well, a good-sized crowd in attendance, and with Kelvin Kirko being something of a local hero, the folks here will be hoping that uh, Kelvin does well. As he gets this match underway, Australia area, gets Wales Kelvin. in the pairs, and uh, Rex Johnson him, straight into the match also Start, clapping this one home. Good shot. Well, Kelvin Kirko right at home. And uh, Malcolm Bishop. An unusual, very deliberate setup uh, that Malcolm has. Mark. Good ball. Played. And he's not far off it either. That's a fine opening as well from Malcolm Bishop. And Kelvin. 32 now from South Tweed Club. It's a bit tighter, mate. 1995 okay. Pacific Games gold medalist, Bowling. world indoor pairs champion. Good bowling. With uh, young Ian Schubach. Spot. And uh, Queensland Bowler of the Year in Three 2000. And currently Australia's number one, taking that title away from Steve Glasson. And Malcolm Bishop uh, from the Bryn Havard club he lives uh, about 10 miles from the famous rugby town of uh, Clenethley if that uh, helps you and he's been competing at the top level since the early 80s British Isles pairs winner last year some good results yeah, indoors and out outdoor fours and pairs winner at the national level <coughs> and he's extremely proud uh, Shui to find himself uh, out here for the first time. Yeah, it's always a daunting task, Steve. First visit to a foreign country. I've been playing a couple of months on the very slow outdoor greens. He's explaining to Kelvin, now look at the turn on this green, it's that fast. He's never seen anything like it. <laughs> He's a very personable, uh, approachable fellow, isn't he, Malcolm? As we watch Rex no. send off his uh, first. Eyes fixed on the track. Johnston probably trying to just rest the bowl or trail the jack, but just too wide. Good. William Thomas. Hang in there, Will. Big try, mate. Big try. Malcolm Edge likes it. One. Edge. Oh. Well played. Oh. Uh, may not have Come taken on, the Adams. shot. Unlucky there. Yeah. Very oh, important uh, as we look at Rex Johnson's. Oh, everybody oh. knows how good a player Rex Johnston is. Gold medal for Australia in the Commonwealth be Games. Been good around a long here, time. It needs desperately to get another close oh. bowl. Rex Johnston. Oh. Oh, he's oh. given the shot away, unfortunately. Mm. It's all right. It's better. Draw one, well, yeah. It's going to be a dead draw. Yeah. What's this ball here? The short of white? Yeah, this ball is short. Yeah, it's going to be a really dead draw. So it'll just fade in there. I played here.
Well, Will Thomas was asked to play the forehand. He's now deciding to play the backhand. Pontradiffin is his uh, outdoor club. He's 46 now, William. Often called Will. Says his mum likes him to be known as William, so we'll try and stick with that. But a habit might have us falling back into Will. Commonwealth Games gold medalist in 86 and in South Africa last year, a world championship in fours. Very lucky there not to give the shot away. Still one to Wales. <laughs> Good opening for the visitors. <laughs> Picking up the first shot of the match. <laughs> Malcolm uh, Bishop on the mat. Father of two. He was telling us an interesting story, Shuey, yesterday about uh, what, what they speak at home. <laughs> He's got two, father of a couple of children. Yes, yeah, interesting, Steve. Uh, Laura, 10, a daughter, and uh, Alad, a boy, 7, Time and wife, mine, here. They all speak Look. Welsh, and he doesn't speak Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the kids speak Welsh to mum and English to dad. Shit. I don't think Kelvin likes this one, judging by the body language. <laughs> Sorry, paddles. It certainly does wear his heart on his one. sleeve, Kelvin Kirke. It really is a wild one by his standards. Green here running quite quickly, about 16 seconds, 15 or 16 seconds, so a wide line required. And both of these Welsh players, Steve, interestingly, have elected uh, not to play with their own bowls. They've hosted uh, Pine Rivers Bowling Club in Brisbane for a few days before coming to Tweed Heads, and uh, I believe they're both playing again. with the Green Brilliant. Keepers bowls. Oh, borrowed bowls and handling them pretty well. Well, Malcolm looks absolutely uh, focused on the Check job here. He's relishing this opportunity to play Australia. One good thing, Steve, Thank with Malcolm up. Bishop, he seems very Try relaxed, him chatting to Kirko. Well not nervous at all. <laughs> Wonderful correction from Kelvin Kirko. Good correction. He was pretty hard on himself after that loose opening bowl and a great correction. Uh, a smile creasing the face of the popular Kelvin. Interesting here to see whether Will and William Thomas should play weight. <laughs> He's one down, two seconds. He would like to trial the jack. Truck, William. You're going to have trouble calling him William, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I've <laughs> called him, I've called him Will for about 15 years, Steve. So. <laughs> Looking for the jack. Uh, good try. Beautiful Excellent weight. Excellent try. Good. <coughs> Rex Johnson makes his way back. Uh, in something of a hurry. He's still got 20 seconds on the clock. Danger in this area, Steve. Johnston may elect to draw there or, or perhaps even come through this gap. Trying to draw a second shot. There is danger behind. Safer hand is the backhand. And that's what Johnston is playing. Should try to just pass the jack. Come on, mate. Run hard. Come on, paddles. Good shot, mate. Well done. Well, that's two to Australia. A shot of weight. Slightly down well. If you keep me new weight, turn on the weight, it's brilliant. William Thomas, he had perfect weight with his first bowl. Just a slightly narrower line. Deliver the band you need. What's Mark? Oh, William, boy. Might get something. We might get the hole. Oh, very unlucky. Uh, Kelvin Kirko just threw Quite his head very back. Good, uh, mate. Almost in sympathy, I think, for, for William. who'd sent down a pretty good bowl there, shall we? <laughs> well, he was holding his breath. He'd almost fainted, Kirko. <laughs> wow, well, could have been holding four shots there, which would have been the maximum count. Okay, now right Johnston's go, drawing for three. Come on, paddles. Run hard. Good shot here, pal. Well done, mate. Two good bowls. <laughs> Great shot. Well, it, uh, it drew applause from William Thomas at the other end, and that's a great uh, reply from Australia. They're on the board with a big count of three on the second end. So Australia 9-3, and as Wales said about this chase, uh, this time, Shuey, the mat's back, and uh, Malcolm Bishop has rolled at uh, oh, four or five metres short of the tee. And just... Again, trying to present a, a different look to the end for Australia. 
Yes, Steve, subtle change. Yeah, Two ends ago, they bought the mat up Wales and played much the same length. This time, they've only bought the mat up one metre from the tee and about 26 metres in length. And off to a very good start. Malcolm Bishop and uh, track maybe Kel. his length. Good Might try, be though. Kelvin's length as well. Great try. Yep. Well done. No. He's got the shot. On a shot, Mark. I change it Ball right stays now. upright. And the Welsh oh. ball just fell in. Well, done. <laughs> well, Malcolm Bishop is probably holding one shot now. He, he does not know it. His first ball fell over. Come on, run in. Run in. It's very close now. The red fell over, mate. That's a good call from Johnston saying to Kirko, I don't mind now if you're just good arriving. Again. Could be one down. Come on, Kelvin. Well done, sir. Rex likes well it. Played. And well done. Yes. <laughs> Great response from Kelvin Kirko. That's definitely Australia's now. Ideal, really. I don't know if that uh, shifted the Welsh bowl at all. Whether it's just one or two. What's your uh, spin on that, Shui? One and a measure, Steve. <laughs> okay. Very quite, you're quite comfortable on the fence there, are you? <laughs> I think it may be just one, but William Thomas, he's got a very difficult shot on, Steve. There's nothing really to rest on. Come on, William. He could be better attacking this with a little bit of weight. Oh, that's going to block. Oh, good effort, Kurt. That's all it was. Oh, just it. trying to dead draw. Very difficult shot. Malcolm uh, endeavouring to talk up their chances and lift to William Thomas, but really Will's been uh, struggling through the first half dozen ends. He's been under so much pressure, courtesy of Kelvin Kirko's leading, Steve, but Rex Johnston, he's only gone to the mat down on two occasions. And this is the eighth end, so Kirko dominating up front. Mate, you've got the legs. Wales need to string consecutive Battles ends together. They won the last mate. end with a single. Maybe it's William Thomas there, could think well about done. attacking. Well, he's thinking about having a look at the head. Just to take a pause for thought here for, for William. Um, maybe the best result is onto this bowl and looking for contact on the jack. If he comes a little bit wide, he could maybe spring the jack back up the green, which would be a disaster. He needs to be narrow on the forehand looking for the front bowl belonging to Australia, and then maybe cross his fingers and look for a bit of luck. Wales do have the best back bowl if he kills the end. Close well. Oh, Ooh, one gone, boy. one gone. Cleared some traffic there. And uh, from two down to one down, but Rex Johnston still has one to play. Not a lot of room to draw to. <laughs> Every bowl went off the rink except the two there, Steve. <laughs> Solid drive. Those four bowls all went off the rink. Well, that was very exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 that was really exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> Malcolm Bishop enjoyed it. Don't think Rex has quite got the legs oh, this time. And uh, yeah. Australia, though. First to double figures. Picking up one shot in the eighth. And uh, they lead at 10-3. Well, Australia has won two more ends than Wales, but seven is their lead. Kelvin Kirko. Quite well, Kel. Probably just that 10 inches. Like a longer end than uh, the Welsh. <laughs> Kelvin Kirko, <laughs> who asked his skip, Steve, how far short of the tee did I roll the jack? And Rex Johnson said 10 inches, and <laughs> Kirko has nailed the tee. So <laughs> that's a wonderful opening bowl. 
Malcolm Bishop, he's been leading very well in this direction. Probably starting to settle into this particular length. Hey, Mark. Good effort. Yeah, it is a good effort. Try. Kirko not mucking about on the mat. Straight into his second bowl. Just out of the pace now, the, Kel. Not give the muscle memory time to forget that first Short, ball. Oh, she's not gonna. Oh, she's coming now. Too bad. Last ball of yard, Mark. Could we have to have a look there now for four on. Block the backhand off now, Kirko, with that last bowl. So Malcolm Bishop will be forced to switch to the forehand. And this forehand side, unusual stance on the mat. If we it's a tendency to foot fault Malcolm Bishop on his forehand side, not his backhand side. But this forehand is a lot wider and also slower. Right to it. That's a wonderful attempt. Mm, read it well. Ball falls out and it's uh, drawn Kelvin Kirko in to have a look. And he thinks they might be down. So Rex Johnson will sense that he's down. Rex Johnston won't be trying to trial the Jack Steve. He'll be just trying to draw. The trial would be the Sweet bonus. Five, mate. Just ignoring Kirko's front bowl. Clear road paddles. Good shot, mate. Well Perfect. done. Perfect. <laughs> he sent the Jack too far. Still one up Wales, I think. Lucky then. Mm. Lucky brilliant ball. Very important now for William Thomas to draw another shot. As Johnson picked up the jack, hoping to jam on the Australian bowl, but still one down. William Thomas would be aware that Johnston has one bowl to play. Australia have two seconds. Come on, Will. Come on, on again. Oh, good try, Matt. Lovely line. That's all it was. Oh, we'll see weight so now. How far behind is he? Oh, mate, he's about oh, eight inches. I don't mind just sort of looking for him, actually. I don't want to get that red one on. The... No, how well, far is that red the... one short of our black ones? Which one? The front red one. How far short of our black oh, ones? Oh, that one? Oh, it's uh, 18 inches. Fair way. <coughs> Much more time for discussion about this last bowl now. A slight rule change for this uh, event where there's no time limit on the skip's last bowl uh, in pairs and not, triples. It's not Rex Johnson playing, yeah. Oh! I'll take that. <laughs> well, it's a cruel game at times, and Rex Johnson's <laughs> apologising. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm sorry. That, uh, still, he didn't have much luck with his first bowl, Shimmy. He? he played very well. He's played poorly and got a, a good result here. Come in. Come in. Sliced it. Leave it. Sliced the it, jack me. sideways. Oh. Australia holding two. <laughs> <laughs> Rex was embarrassed, as well he might be. But, William uh, Thomas has half a metre on, of room here, Steve, and these are the types of shots Come on, William. you'd like to make as a skip. Come on, William. On again. And again! <laughs> well, you <bold. laughs> uh, Malcolm Bishop likes it. Uh, yep. And that's one for Wales. Well, he has made it. And uh, they're swapping singles. 10 4 now. Australia leads it. Well, Wales, uh, looking at the good news, they've won three of the last five ends. <coughs> having won only one of the first four. That was when Australia did their heavy scoring. So they've steadied things. They've just got to haul in those big numbers that Australia grabbed in the second, third and fourth end. Malcolm Bishop dropping almost two metres short with his first bowl. <coughs> He'd be well advised to play the one side of the rink Drop out the anchors, mate. It's surprising to think that the carpet can be a different speed on one side of the rink to the other. This particular Kirko, this length has filled both leads with her opening bowls. 
It's all about correction, however. Bishop needing to find at least a metre and a half of running. Nice, right up the green towards the bank. Looking at his sighting line. Has been correcting very well. Prepare your mark. Right down, wait. Right down. Good. And he's done well again. This television rink at Tweed Heads is actually in between two normal rinks. The two outside white today, lines is where they normally play. And the car can now, just react a little foot. bit differently one we'll side fly. to the other. Kirko also wonderful yep. correction. Oh, you're on the scene. Uh, the effective rate. Australia doing... Uh, very well, 27 of 38, 71%, that's a fine effort. 22 of 38, 58% for the Welsh. Pretty well the same throughout the match, Steve. It's those few big scoring ends you mentioned earlier, a couple of threes and a two You're early on well. in the match. Thomas playing with weight. Would not <coughs> like that okay. result. Very good effort. Mm, I even need a bit of breeze. <laughs> ben. Lovely weight, pal. Uh. Flies off the jack now, Mark. That much off the jack, well. Do a little turn in there, be good. Backhand, William Thomas. Love you, name, pal. Lovely line. Oh, oh well, unlucky. The white's and good, Malcolm Rex. Bishop yeah, the white's good, turns mate. Away and Just the ball short. Can't believe it. Australia with the last oh, ball on this end. They're going to pick up at least one. And on, Rex paddles. Johnson. It's a narrower wow. line than last time. Doesn't need the breeze, but might be oh, too narrow. Oh. This Come time. On, battles are a chance. Good shot. Well done. Oh, well yes. Done. That's uh, two more for Australia. And stretch the lead to eight after ten ends. And it's 12 4 to the Aussies. Whew. Rich is up. 12 4. And halfway through the match almost. Australians have been dominant. They trailed only for the first Start end. Kill. Well done, Tom. Immediately overtook the Welsh with a three in the second end. So it was 3-1. Kicked it out to 8-1 after four ends. Now 12-4. That's Malcolm Bishop, whose father, grandfather, uncle and great-uncle all played the game. And Malcolm saying that he... His late father would certainly be very proud of him to uh, be representing his country here. Sorry, Mark. Just a touch. Interesting, Steve. The Wales have won every end coming in this direction. The last three ends. Karen Kirko there alongside Kelvin's father, Ivan Kirko, with the glasses on, come to support Kelvin. Yeah, so I'm not sure whether Johnston is aware of the fact that they have not won coming this way, no, I'm not sure. Australia, until the, th no, the last time was the that. third end. Come in handy. So maybe it's time for Australia well to play a slightly yeah, different length. Yeah, right in there. Having said that, you look at the scoreboard at 12-4, Johnston is probably saying, why change anything? Happy mm. to lose ones going this way and pick up twos and threes going back the other direction. This is a slower and 
wider forehand. It's the problem when you chop and change sides on any green in the world that you play on. Quite often there's a different track and a different speed. That's an interesting phenomenon you've picked out there, Shui, because casual uh, observers of the game would think, well, it would be the length of end that would find out your opponent, not not the direction. But um... Yes, Stephen, a lot of bowlers would think, too, playing indoors, um, you wouldn't have any wind to worry about. And, like, the grass, obviously, outside can be quite different. Track, a lot of players would think the carpet would be identical on, mate, on both well. sides of the rink. Not so. Come on, paddles. Run hard. Good shot, mate. That's a wonderful bowl from Johnston. <coughs> Counting, short, blocking the drive. Must... Look, <laughs> William Thomas, he's not rushing back to the mat. He's only got 18 seconds left to get this bowl away. Must look terrible from the mat. It's the first time William Thomas have played to a shot clock. Four seconds he had. Just made it. Not sure that he was aware either. Very well, well. He certainly didn't muck around once he was Very big try. at the mat end. Rafa, two feet. Two feet right to the jack, mate. That's a wonderful head for Australia. Three short bowls all in a line. Oh, well, I've at least got two feet. <laughs> <laughs> Rex Johnston trying to slow this bowl Just down. That's it, I think. Oh, that's good, mate. Hey. Be a bit, uh, a bit heavy. Stopping. <laughs> good night. Well done. <coughs> well, it was good enough for a third. It was heavier than Rex wanted, but it's counting. Problem now for William Thomas is not to be overweight. Short with his first. Okay. Three. Yep. Wow. Well done, mate. Three more to Australia. Boy, that's a, a sizable margin now. And uh, after 11 ends, 15 4. Fifteen four, and uh, Australia's just uh, really can cruise home from here almost, even though we're in the. 12th end of 21. 11 shot lead. Oh, great start of Kelvin. And Kelvin leading like this, it's uh, hard to see what the Welsh can do. Well, he's been dominant almost uh, from the opening bowl of the match. Well, Steve, I think Malcolm Bishop, he needs to switch to the forehand side in this direction. That's one thing that Wales could do. And uh, maybe it's up to William Thomas, the skip, to suggest a change. Malcolm Bishop playing around the clock. It's just allowing Kirko an open go at the forehand. Five. Beautiful lead bowl from Bad. Malcolm Bishop, but he's still one down. <laughs> Wonderful opening bowl. But... I'd stop there. He's a half a bowl in front of the jack, mate. You stop there. A little ride off him's good. That's from the mat hand. You can see two bowls to rest on, so best hand to play is the forehand for both teams. Kirko would like to trail the jack away. Great shot here, Kel. Turn. Great shot. Absolutely brilliant. Kelvin Kirko. Australia's number one ranked player. And this is why. Using the outside.